Hi everyone, welcome to Unfinance, and in this video we're going to cover economy and the financial markets. Now imagine financial markets are driven by hundreds of data, and these data are actually interconnected with each other. Now you can categorize those uh, data as to affirmative and negative. Now usually, for affirmative data, you would want to see these uh, figures higher. Okay, so higher interest rates, uh, higher business confidence index, higher industrial production rate, higher GDP, and so on and so forth. Now for negative data, you would want to see these figures lower. For example, lower unemployment rate, lower inflation, corruption index, and so on and so forth. And we have uh, three ways to evaluate those data. For example, forecasts. At the uh, estimated values now, uh, renowned entities like Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Consensus, yung sa mga estimates naman ng mga uh, various groups of uh, economists and financial analysts. And uh, lastly, the actual, which are actually the figures coming from the supervising agencies, let's say Philippine Statistics Authority. So here we have an example, uh, GDP. So GDP is an example of um, affirmative data. Now, what if the forecast is 6.5, consensus is 6.4, but the actual is actually 6.6%, which is higher than both uh, consensus and forecast. Now, in this case, because this is an affirmative data, we would want to see these figures higher. So if you're going to look at this would impact the PSEI, a positive sentiment. So we would see the, the index to drive you know, upward. Now, what if we have here a negative data? The forecast is 2.3, consensus is 2.4. Now, since this is a negative data, we would want to see the figure lower. But here, it's actually higher than consensus and forecast. So these can trigger negative sentiments in the market. For example, it can you know, drive the index to go or to trade lower that specific uh, day. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you were able to um, identify the effects of economic data to the financial markets. See you next time.